I'm going to be taking you to some of the best brunch spots in Port Vila, Vanuatu. Brunch. It's an amazing meal. You don't have to rush out of bed in the morning, but you can still get all the breakfast foods you're craving. It's practically become an essential part of any relaxing holiday. Hi right, team, here's the plan. I'm going to look up the highest rated brunch spots in Port Vila, Vanuatu. Go there and give them a review. So you can spend more time on your holidays kicking back and relaxing rather than looking up researching and stressing about where you're going to eat. So I looked up the best brunch spots in town, but restricted the search to restaurants and cafes actually in town, rather than having to waste your time traveling long distances to far-flung places around the island. All right, here's what I've come up with. I'll also show you a great spot to go out of town to at the end of the video. All right, let's get brunching. All right, Tim, first place we're gonna head to is number one cafe, smack bang in the middle of town, overlooking the waterfront park and Port Vila Bay. I rated 4.2 stars on Google review, so let's go over there and give it a look, taste some food, taste some coffee, see how it is for brunch. All right, here we are down at number one cafe. Let's head in, grab some brunch. Located in the heart of Port Vila, number one cafe offers freshly brewed coffee, juices, smoothies, and cocktails, as well as a wide variety of food from sunrise to sunset. Overlooking Port Villa Bay, there's plenty of seating that includes both benches and tables, undercover and in the open. We came on a public holiday here in Vanuatu, however, they were still open their usual hours from around 6am to about 7.30 or 8pm. Alright, here we are. Uh, I've ordered myself a big fella breakfast this morning with my cappuccino. Uh, and Kenzie's gotten herself a coconut and an egg benny. Let's see how it turns out. The drinks came out pretty quickly, which was nice. However, they did come and say that they are out of bacon today and asked me if I'd like anything else substituted, so I said I'd have another sausage. The food also came out fairly quickly, so we tucked in. I'll put the cost of everything up for you now on the screen. Fortunately, it's clouded over a little bit now. Um, so what do we think about number one cafe? It wasn't bad, coffee was pretty good. The meal, I could probably make that at home and they'd run out of bacon. Uh, they did come and ask if they wanted anything extra. I got some extra sausages. Mackenzie said she enjoyed her coconut. Uh, Eggs Benny was homemade as well. Uh, so overall, I'd probably give it a 3.5 stars uh, out of five. Port Vila's really been putting on the weather for us recently. So we're gonna head on to our second location to have a look at for brunch today. Team, we're down here at Jill's Cafe today, so let's head inside, grab a little bit of brunch. Let's go! Jill's Cafe is the only American-style diner in Port Vila and has been serving up delicious food and drinks to residents and visitors for 15 years. With views overlooking the waterfront park in Port Vila Bay, there's fully and semi-enclosed seating options available. The menu features a wide variety of great American-style breakfasts, including light and fluffy hotcakes, omelets with all your favourite fillings, and their signature breakfast, the All-American, which is what I ordered, as well as my usual cappuccino. All right, that coffee came out really, really quickly. Uh, it was like a minute or two, so let's give it a try. All right, that coffee's pretty good. Uh, they're using local tanner beans, so you know the flavor's really coming through. Uh, they're roasted fresh on the island, so you should definitely try out tanner coffee if you're in Vanuatu. The All American is 1,290 Vatu for about 17 odd, and the coffee was 450 Vatu for a muck, which is 6 Australian. There's also alcoholic beverages available, and Jill's Cafe also bakes amazing cakes you can buy. Alright, so that was Jill's Cafe. Uh, what do we think about it? I think the coffee was quite good, it came out really quickly, which is fantastic. I think the all-American breakfast was really good. Scrambled eggs were light and fluffy, uh, and the fruit uh, addition to it was really, really nice. Uh, it helped 
cut through the meal, uh, cut through the fattiness of some of the other things on there. So uh, I think I'd give Jill's Cafe a 4.5 stars out of five. You guys should definitely try it out. All right, team, let me interrupt for a sec. If you're enjoying the video, think about giving us a thumbs up uh, or subscribing to the channel. It does really help out. All right, back to the video. We're actually flying back to Australia a little bit later today, uh, but before we do, we're going to go out and grab some brunch at another spot in Port Vila, uh, the Boathouse Cafe. All right, let's go. The Boathouse Cafe is a family-run restaurant that aims to provide new and delightful food to the locals of Vanuatu and tourists who visit. First opening in June 2023, the Boathouse Cafe has quickly become a town favourite, with 4.4 stars out of 5 on their Google reviews, and because we'd run out of food supplies before our trip, we decided to go and check it out before our flight. We both got a ham and cheese croissant, I got my cappuccino, and Mackenzie got a pot of tea. The ham and cheese croissant was 1,050 vatu, or about 14 Australian, the coffee was 550 vatu, or 7 bucks, and the tea was 400 vatu, which is about $5.50. So how was the boathouse? Well, it has a nice modern interior, which was quite nice. Uh, the coffee was decent, not the best I've had in Port Vila, but still quite good. Uh, and our ham and cheese croissant was pretty good. So I'd probably give it four out of five stars. Worth checking out if you're on that side of town. Hello everybody, all right. Today we're going to be heading to the next location. Uh, it's been raining this weekend in Port Vila, but that's no problem. We're still going to go have some fun, have some brunch and check out the next location. Located at the Central Bay Mall, the Playground Cafe says it's Port Vila's most entertaining cafe. With the highest rating of all these locations on Google reviews, 4.8 stars out of 5, we left it until last to come and check out. Open 6.30am to 7pm, Monday to Saturday, and 7am to 2pm on Sundays, the playground has a decent all-day menu. I opted for my regular cappuccino, as well as a club sandwich, and Mackenzie went for an eggs benedict with bacon and a nice coffee. There was a small wait for our drinks and food to come out, however, there were a few other customers who came in just a bit before us, so that's understandable. Our drinks came out first, followed shortly after by our food. <laughs> All up, our meal costs 3,350 vatu, which is 42 Australian dollars. Alright, so what did we think about the Playground Cafe? Well, I quite enjoyed it. Our coffee was alright. Once again, not the best I've had in Port Vila, but definitely not too bad. Um, the meals were pretty large. The cost, I think, was pretty reasonable. Uh, my club sandwich was pretty tasty. So I'd say if you're in Port Vila, definitely worth checking out. I'd probably give it 3.5 uh, out of 5 stars. If you've made it this far in the video, give us a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thanks for the support. The next place I've talked about before, but I do think it's worth heading out to if you can manage during your time in Port Vila. About a 20 minute drive out of town on Devil's Point Road, the Tanner Coffee Factory is a great spot to stop into if you're heading around Afate Island. This is the place where they roast the coffee beans, so the coffee is always super fresh and flavorful. And they also have a small menu of items that are great for brunch. They provide tours of the roasting facilities and you can purchase fresh whole beans or ground coffee there as well. <laughs> 